now we'll put all these features and all these guidelines that we have learned into drawing the actual face. First up, the front view. As always, I start with a circle and then the horizontal line that is about three quarters down the face and the vertical line to make sure I place all my features symmetrically. And then the elongated um, semicircle to kind of guide me on how the bottom part, the chin of the character will be. The chin is really um, trial and error, like you really gotta try and keep, keep going at it because it really took me very long to get a proper face shape as well. And then I'm also going to indicate the features as well as where the neck should be according to the center of the eyeballs. Now I'm just going to fill in the features. A good way to make sure your lines, uh, your eyes are symmetrical is to rest the two ends of your eyes on the line that you have drawn. But that just gives you very um, normal looking eyes and you look kind of sleepy sometimes. So if you want to, if you want to make them look um, sharper, you can tilt the eyes upwards so the ends of your eyes come up higher than the um, horizontal line. Just gotta experiment and try it out to see which features, how the features change the personality and the look of your character. Now I'm drawing some guidelines upwards to show where her eyebrows will be and then I'm just gonna fill in the eyebrows. The eyebrows are also a pretty important part in the expression of your character because it's really going to make a difference whether your eyebrows are turning up, turning down and I like to include some stray hairs after the end of the brows and then I do this little indent to indicate the bridge of the nose then I put in the nostrils at the bottom of the diamond as well as the little um, bump at the side now I'm going to draw the her chin, her jawline and once again this requires a lot of practice so just keep trying and once you figure it out once, you'll be more um, experienced and you will know what kind of face shape suits what kind of characters. I'm also going to quickly um, draw in her ears. They normally start at the center as I'm indicating now, the center of the eyes. And then they go up and down like that. I'm going to make her smile slightly, so I'm just giving a guideline for the lips. And then I'm going to draw her lips the way I normally draw lips, which is the more um, stylized version. As I said earlier, the line, the top of the circle is normally the hairline. So I'm going to draw this character with a sort of like upturned fringe to show you how to draw like hair that comes up to the hairline. So it's basically, basically just lines that stop at where her hairline stops. Remember to give your character's hair some sort of volume. It has, everyone's hair has, has some kind of volume, no matter how thin it is. And some people have just thicker hair, and that will give you more volume. Just make sure to like, um, stand far away from your drawing every once in a while, so that you can see whether it looks proportionate from afar. Because sometimes you're so close to your drawing, that you, you cannot see whether the features look proportionate on, on, on the character's face. I am an idiot and I wasn't thinking much and I wrote number 3 instead of number 2. Whatever. It is the 3 quarter view next. Once again, I'm going to start with a circle and um, the horizontal line. So my character is going to be facing towards the left today. The horizontal line, 3 quarters down the face as well as the um, center line. This time the center line, make sure to curve it in the direction that your character is facing. Remember that the head is a sphere, so all your lines should follow the curve of um, the sphere. Gonna do the diamond for the nose, and then the placement of the features on the face, as well as the elongated um, semicircle to indicate the jawline. I'm gonna draw a semicircle here, semicircle, sorry, an oval at the side of the um, circle to show where the ears will be and it will help you later on in positioning the jaw. 
Now I'm just gonna fill in the facial features. Remember that the eyes have to face the direction of the face. I mean the direction that your character is facing to create the depth of the face. Just gonna give her very simple eyes. As you can see, the eyes that I like to draw are pretty simple. Um, not too complicated. I also like to draw this like sort of bottom lid, bottom eyelid thing. Right now I'm also um, bringing up some guidelines to show where her eyebrows will be. Make sure to follow the curvature of the sphere as well. An important thing to remember about a three-quarter view is that you have to make sure the um, eyebrow bone and the nose are not one flat pane. So it goes inwards towards the eyes and then out again where the nose and the cheekbones go. So it goes in from the eyebrows and then out to create the nose bridge. So I actually um, drew the um, guidelines too curved, so make sure to not do that. Now I'm going to draw in the forehead as well as her brow bone. Once again, it depends on your character. Some people, especially Asians, have um, lower brow bones, so we don't have that much of a um, indent as what I'm drawing here. But I like to give my characters a more prominent brow bone. So you can see the it goes in towards the eyes and then it goes out again at the cheekbones and then I bring it down for the chin. And then a good way to position the jaw for a three-quarter view is to draw the ear first, somewhere in the middle of the um, circle at the side, I mean the over at the side and then you connect it to the chin. So that's an easy way to draw the three-quarter view. You Once again, you really need to trial and error with this and you need to tweak it and such because just drawing it for the first time might not give you the results that you want. And then I'm going to draw her lips. It's going to be three quarters so remember to do some guidelines if necessary. I apologize for my hair flying into the frame. It was a very windy day. Remember that the head is a sphere, so if it's turned three quarters, do not forget the depth of the head. So here I'm indicating the um, how how um, the hair should be. Remember to add some space in between the hair and the circle that you drew for her head. So the neck for a three quarter view comes around the center of the ear downwards that's gonna be the back of your neck this the curvature of the neck really depends on the body of your character whether her head is following her body as in if her body is facing a three-quarter view as well or her body is facing the front to help you understand how the three-quarter view works, I'm just going to do a very simple um, guideline thing at the bottom. So once again, there's a circle and then an um, oval at the side to show where the ear ends. The jaw ends somewhere in the middle of the uh, oval at the side. I'm going over with a pencil to show you how the skull would look like. So that's how you normally see skulls. That's how they look like because it has this like the part where your brain is is obviously larger than your chin so that's why you have this sort of um, um depth at the back of the head so you gotta remember that next up we're going to do the side profile oval in this case comes in the center of the circle I'm gonna do the diamond for the nose once again and then I'm going to sort of give myself some guidelines on how the face is the side profile of a human's face is not flat so remember that it is a curve it follows the top the forehead follows the um, circle that you drew 
but the bottom part after the nose does not just go in after the circle it comes down to form the jaw so you see I drew a little guideline there this requires some practice as well but um, once you get the hang of it it should be okay and I'm gonna position where the eyes are going to be and then um, fill in everything in pencil For the side profile, it's a bit more complicated. You have the forehead, it goes in with the brow bone, it goes out with the nose, and then it goes back in with the lips. So remember this general shape as you draw. So first I'm going to have her forehead, and then it's going to go back in towards her eye. It's going to come out for the bridge of her nose. Remember that the nose is a ball, and then it goes down, and I'm filling in the nose right now. And then you draw her lips. So how the lips looks from the side. When you draw the lips at the start, it really looks like she's um, puckering her lips. Like she looks like she's kissing someone. So just draw the lips like that. And then it's tiny little outward again with the chin. But this one also depends on what kind of chin you want to give your character. So the ear goes into the um, center of the oval. And it comes down with a jaw as a, as a tiny indication. So the neck for a side profile normally starts at the center in between the um, vertical line to the right hand side of the circle. And you just fill it in like that and the front of the neck as well. Now I'm filling in her lips. I give her a smile again and I'm just filling in her lips stay. In this case, they're really in, in the side profile. It's not really. You don't really have to have such prominent um, the indent in the center of the lips because you can't really see. I'm just filling in her hair now, and in the side profile, you can really see how the back part of the head is really more protruding than the front part. So from the back of the neck, I mean from the yeah from the back of the neck, there's this bulge of the head. If you look at skeletons and you look at skulls, that's how the head looks as there's a um, bulge at the back. So remember to have this um, space so that your character's head doesn't look too flat. Make sure that when uh, make sure to always stand far away from your drawing to look and see if everything is proportionate. Your character should look like their head is a circle and not an oval. Like a to make this depth more obvious, I'm going to quickly sketch out a girl with a ponytail because then her hair would follow her the shape of her skull. So I'm just going to quickly sketch it out right now. I'm also going to give her closed eyes so you can see how closed eyes look on a side profile. Remember to have some depth in between her hair tie and her skull. So I'm just going to fill in her fringe. I'm just going to pull all her hair back into a ponytail so you can see how the shape of the skull works. So you see there's this bulge at the uh, back of the head and then that's her hairline at the bottom and then her ponytail. So in this one, because I drew her in a ponytail, you can really see how the shape of the hair works. So this is important, um, especially if you are drawing short hair characters, especially if the hair comes up to the nape of their neck and doesn't cover the back of their neck. Then you have to really um, take note of the shape of the skull. And that's it. We've come to the end of our face tutorial today. I hope you guys have learned a lot from this and I urge you guys to try and experiment on your own. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around. I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial. I will create a tutorial for a male face as well do leave me do leave comments on what other kinds of tutorials you would like me to show you guys and um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video bye